Howdy everyone, Pocha here with an Adrian Magic video and in today's video we're moving into another round of the AI Championship, Snow White versus Rosso and Snow White won the coin toss. So we'll be jumping into the selections and the bands straight away. It's an interesting board with the band starting with Snow White. We got Morrigan, then Librarian, Crowley, Yuki, Dagan, Soothsayer, Pride, Lucky, Troran, Damio, Amber. Hargrim. So very, very interesting bands. A lot of dwarfs banned. I mean, once Chorin was out of the picture, I don't know if dwarfs really needed to be taken out. They're very slow. You honestly, you almost want your opponent to get them, to be fair. I think it's a strategy to just push weak characters to your opponent. But that was the band selection. And I mean, obviously, you standard Damio, Morrigan, uh, Librarian. Very standard, standard bands. You're not going to let your opponent get those. Otherwise, you're in big trouble. But then going over to the picks with Snow picking first, she she went to uh, Blood Emperor. It's a very ballsy pick. Very ballsy pick because now your opponent gets two and there are Arakan Undead on the field still. So Rosso obviously sees this. He goes for Dexar and Arakan Shadow. So out of all the Arakan Undead, I think Arakan Shadow is definitely one you didn't want Snow White to get. I think that was a good pick. I don't rate Dexa at all. Not when she's not in a Dragon King team. I think she is completely useless. Um, personally, I think at this point, I would have even left the Shadow. I would have gone Mirrodin Kobolok. Now, lucky for Rossa, he still picked up these characters. I think Mirrodin is low-key top tier in AI Championships. Every player that has picked Mirrodin has gone hard like gone hard their team has just obliterated so it'll be interesting to see what happens with this oh but he didn't get them in the second pick he went the shadow blocked that from snow white and still got himself a decent hero and the decks up not a fan of the decks up pick. think he could have picked better um but back to snow white who then went the arrogant axe sower left the arrogant guard and went um Trevorard. So he picked up the Trevorard. Now, this is the point. This is what I mean. At this point, she should have got the Mirrodin. Get rid of Trevorard, got Mirrodin. Mirrodin offers so much more than Trevorard. So, yeah, I think this was left far too late. Whether it's going to make a difference or not, um, be very interesting to see. Back to Rosso, who then picked up the Mirrodin and Kobolok. I think that is a top tier duo. Kobolok with healing, Kobolok with accuracy decrease, Mirrodin with bleeds, Mirrodin with stuns, Mirrodin with AoE, uh, Mirrodin with the ability to redirect range damage. So you've got Arakan Axe Thrower, um, you've got Blood Emperor who does have a ranged ability. I think Arakan Shadow's abilities are classed as range, I'm not sure. Um... But yeah, he's it's a it's such a strong pick. It's a ridiculously strong pick. So he's got a winner right there. And I I honestly would love to see how influential this is going to be to the fight. Back to Snow White, who then gets the Arakan Guard, which is going to help her Blood Emperor and the Leo. So that is the five characters she picked to begin with. Then back to Rosso, who picked up the Steris on the final pick. So. Steris, I'm not completely against. Honestly, would have picked Steris over Dexa. I just really am not a fan of her as a single character. Then we go into subs. Uh, Snow gets Pig Boy, Tahit, Schnee, and uh, Gatekeeper. Um, Rosso gets Sabretooth, Kabuto, uh, Torak, and Kishat. So not huge characters for the subs, but they've got them if they need them. So, yeah, very interesting teams. Again, just from the selection, uh, Snow White has a pretty good Arakan Undead lineup. Uh, but I honestly think Mirrodin is going to... Mirrodin and Koblok, I honestly think these two characters are going to be player of the match. Um, but I've been wrong before. I thought Palin was going to win his uh, lose his fight. He dominated. So, yeah, we'll jump into the fight and see how these two teams play out. Moving into fight number one, and we start off with the debuffs coming out from Arakan, a Blood Emperor. Some damage on Kobolok. He's quite low. He made it down. He's going into critical, and the slow comes out from 
Uh, Dracorad doesn't hit everyone. Kerbal Lock very, very low. He's finally taken out. And a lot of damage coming out from the Arak and Undead. Steris getting some damage out now as he's taken out immediately. And the Mirrodin hasn't done anything yet. But we'll see if there's a difference that can be made. There comes the stun. Big boy comes out. And there you go. I was wrong. I yeah, I don't know what can be done from this point. Uh, out comes the Blood Emperor distur distributing health back to his characters. Um, and it's just a 5v2 at this, this, this rate. A Snow White cleans through. And, yeah, Jesus. I mean, that is not how I expected that fight to come out. I thought Mirrodin would have offered a lot more to that team. Um, but, yeah, there you go. First point going to Snow White. We'll take the fight over to the contenders and see what they want to do. Going into round two, and neither Rosso or Snow White has made any change to their team. So we're going to see what happens. Kerbalok's still taking a lot of damage to begin with. Out comes the slow from Drevera. And then comes the stun from uh, Mirrodin. But not really doing anything. Initiative reset happening. I'm pretty sure there. It's, if I saw that correctly. And a lot of damage out on the Steris. As he's now going to take a fair bit of a beating. And the taunt now coming out from the Drevera. Remember there's also still the... Uh, Arak and Guy with a taunt as well. Mirrodin's dots not really having any effect against a Blood Emperor team. So that's a big part of Rosso's team taken out. And there's nothing there's nothing you can do from this point. The first, second point is going to go to Snow White as well. As Rosso is taken out. Two points to Snow White. Rosso, zero points unfortunately. Being eliminated from the competition. And congratulations to Snow White who is now moving on to the semi-finals. 